Hi, I'm Russ from SKF. We're here today to talk about the proper installation of front hub bearings on a 2002 Ford Explorer. Okay, we're going to work on removing the caliper off the front of the vehicle now so that we can get access to our wheel bearing. And as we take this caliper off, we will always want to hang this caliper by a bungee cord or some sort of strap in order to prevent any damage from to the brake line. Okay, we're going to remove the brake caliper. Slide the brake caliper off, and then we're going to take and we're going to suspend this brake caliper and a bungee cord to prevent any damage to our brake line. Okay, we have the brake caliper removed. Now we need to remove the rotor. The rotor may take a little persuasion to get off. A couple swings of the hammer on the back side of the rotor, sometimes on the front face of the rotor, will help you in ease of removal of the rotor. Once we remove the rotor, we've got our 30 millimeter nut that is pertained to this vehicle to remove. On the old 2 Ford Explorer, we do have an ABS cord that runs up into the firewall area. Up above it is where you would disconnect. Disconnect it underneath the hood. You then continue to pull the cord through. And you have a series of clips that run down along the brake line. Be careful not to break the clips. Remove the cord as needed. Okay, we're going into the bearing removal, and we've got three bolts that attach this bearing hub to the knuckle. The two bolts have already removed on the other side. Um, sometimes there's a clearance issue that you run into with the CV shaft. You cannot get a half inch socket and extension in through here because of the clearance with the CV shaft. So I'm using a 3 8 15 millimeter socket with a swivel. If you need the extra clearance, you can take and you can push the CV joint back to give yourself some more clearance. And then it's just a matter of removing all three of the bolts. Some hubs can be very difficult to remove. One of the ways we can do this is with a slide hammer. A couple other ways would be to basically the triangular part of the bearing, we can hit it with a hammer and we can actually turn the bearing hub in the knuckle. That's one version. The slide hammer makes it much easier to remove this bearing. A couple slides usually you can get it out of here. And there we have our bearing hub removed from the vehicle. Now that we have the hub off, we're just going to do a brief cleaning to get all the corrosion on the area where the bearing is mounted to the knuckle. We're ready for our bearing installation. We have added some anti-seize to the outer edge of this bearing hub. The reason we do that is the corrosion issue that's caused from the bearing on the knuckle itself. So once we have the anti-seize installed, install the bearing, making sure that our ABS sensor is located in the correct spot, going off to the side of the back of the, the hub unit. Okay, and now we're going to secure the three mounting bolts that hold the hub assembly to the knuckle. Okay, we've snugged down all our bolts. Um, and we're going to do a torque on those three bolts. The torque spec for this particular vehicle is 84 foot-pounds. You want to check your listing for any vehicle that you're working for to get the correct spec on. And there we go. Okay, we're going to finish up on uh, installation of this hub here. And we've got the nut run down here. We're going to basically just snug this nut down. The final critical torquing of this nut will come in play um, when we have the vehicle down on the ground and that final torque is very critical to the longevity and performance of this hub setting the preload. Okay, now we're in the process of installing our brakes back. We've got our rotor. Install our rotor. One of the good tips is to run a... <coughs> secure the rotor, hold it in place. Take our caliper. Okay, we've got our rotor and our caliper reinstalled in the vehicle. So all we want to do is set the torque on our caliper bolts to the proper 
specification. And we're going to continue with our ABS sensor wire installation. Installing it amongst the clips on the brake line. Lay them in line, making sure they're all secure so there is no wheel rub going on. Okay, we have our ABS sensor here that we're going to connect, which is on the top of the right side firewall, which basically just goes into the connector and snaps in. Make sure it's tight and secure. As always, the final installation procedure is going to be the, the torquing of our axle nut. Those axle nuts need to be torqued to the correct specifications. Those specifications are designed to set the preload of the bearing. The preload of the bearing is very important to the longevity and length of time that that bearing is going to last. We have this set to 184 foot-pounds, which is the torque specification for this uh, O2 Ford Explorer. Go through and torque this down. Once we get that all set, one of the important things is not to use an impact. Impacts can cause premature damage and failure to this bearing hub, not setting the preload correctly. Okay, we're going to finally torque up our wheel lugs here. Set them to the wind choosing replacement hub for your vehicle. Don't compromise safety. Install confidence with SKF pumps. For complete product information, visit skfpartsinfo.com.